we know that k squared equals m squared. So we know this is true. And we're trying to figure out which of the following uh, must, which the following must be true. So you know, this is going to be about negatives and positive. You, if you square a negative two, you're going to get a positive four, right? So k equal m, k could be two, or m could be negative two, and you still get this. But no, k is not equal to m. I've got k equal to two and k equal to negative two. So that's what, only one of these that that's, can be ever true is the very last one. The absolute value of k will equal the absolute value of m because no matter what, when you take the absolute value of both of them, even if you had negative numbers on the inside, it's going to be It's going to be, they're both going to be positive. So the answer is E. You know, you might want to look at another one, like look at number C, k equal absolute value of m. Well, we know k squared equals m squared, but we could let k equal, let's say, negative 2. Well, there's no way that's going to equal, if we, if you, even if you let m be negative 2, once you take the absolute value of that's going to be a positive 2, so that's, that's not true. These, the answers, all these answers, we're trying to figure out which one works all the time, and that's going to be E.